So my name is Donald Foster. I am a driver for J&J Driveaway. And today, in the next few days, I'm going to be showing you how to properly inspect and undeck a four-way. So pay attention to the video. I know you're excited about getting into this industry. All of y'all are truck drivers, so I'm gonna skip the pre-inspection and how to do your logbooks. What I'm gonna basically be showing you is how to inspect a load before you drive off with it for the first time and then how to properly undeck a load when you get to the final destination. So I have already gone around and done my pre-checks and I've tightened all the bolts I need to tighten. I'm gonna walk back behind what I've already done and show y'all so it's a little quicker. So right now I've started the truck up and I turn the headlights on and the flashers on. So that way you can check. On a four way, you will have these little lights, the little markers on the side. So you have two on each side. You wanna make sure that they are illuminating when you have them on. That one's illuminated. You're gonna go back and you're gonna check the tail lights and the blinkers. hard to tell right now but the lights are flashing and the tail lights are on front you gotta check these blinkers as well and the headlights make sure that they are working I like to start on one side of the truck on the driver's side come back check your hoses you wanna make sure they're all zip tied down so there's no loose hoses hanging down anywhere. Then you come back over here to the bolts and the nuts. The U-bolts that go around the frame, they are one and one fourth inch deep well impact socket. You wanna tighten all four of these on this one side. Then you wanna switch your socket to a one and one half inch deep well impact socket. Tighten those two down. Make sure all the wires for the lights, there's no hanging. Make sure that they're all up, up, so not to get in the way of snagging when you do turns. You check the wires, make sure everything's zip tied on, no loose wires hanging. Do the same thing you did on the front, but this one does not have U-bolts. What this has is a saddle that is attached to the fifth wheel. It'll have two bolts on each side, same size, one inch, one fourth, deep well socket you'll need for that then you'll have again your other two sockets up there where one and one half inch sockets then you want to make sure that these the air hoses for your brakes make sure these are all connected check the wires and the hoses make sure that they are not hanging down so they can get snagged continue back to the third and last saddle again this one's another fifth wheel saddle two bolts, one on each side, one and one fourth inch socket, and then you have a one and a half inch socket up there for those two bolts right there. Again, check the hoses, make sure everything is connected correctly, make sure there's no loose wires hanging. And then check back here, continue to make sure that there's no loose wires hanging. Sometimes these are loose. This is where the axle goes in, tighten these bolts, not too tight, but make sure they're still tight, hand tighten these. These are one inch socket for that, a deep well impact as well. You also wanna make sure that you're not too close to the ground on this one. Most of the time they are up well. I've had to do it once where I've had to get some wood, brace it under there and tighten down the chains right here to make sure that the axle was up high enough so it's not dragging and messing up the tires when I'm driving down up and down roads. That was the pre-inspection of a four truck decked load. One reason why you're checking the bolts to make sure they're tightened is there have been some, very few, but some accidents where a driver did not tighten the U-bolts on the saddle and they took a curve or a turn and lost all three trucks. Um, luckily no one got hurt. All right guys, so I've already done all the work. I've already put the axles in, 
I've already I've done all the wiring. I've done on the hoses on the last, on the first drop I'm doing. It's a light bar right here. This is, I'm only dropping one truck. We had to move it up one truck. So you're gonna to wanna to have splicers and connectors so that you can do it because you gotta cut the wire and you gotta reconnect them back right here. So make sure you have enough of those in your tool bag to do. So what you'll do is you'll take the U-bolt off the back one, take the two U-bolts and put it over here on the, the soon to be last truck once I get this undecked. All right guys, I'm about to undeck the second, the last two trucks uh, that are decked right now. I'm gonna do a video real quick of what's on it right now. And then once I get everything off, I'll show you what I have taken off. Now I'm gonna be taking all, snipping all these zip ties to undo these hoses because I won't need the hoses anymore. Then I'll take that wood off with the white zip ties. Then I'm gonna come here and undo this. So I'm gonna clip these like right, right, right here Take these off right there. Again, get these hoses off as well. And then snip these lights right here. Then I'm gonna be taking that saddle off that I left on there from the last load. Then I'll be throwing this, uh, these lights over on the pile where all the other lights go. Take off these axles. And then I'll be putting them where they're supposed to go. Again, take off these lights as well and these lights as well. This is what it looks like when we have the red hose in. Goes up there, comes here, and it connects to the other hoses right here. So we took out our red tube that was connected to the other brake lines, took it out and then put the, the stock one back in there. So I reconnected this hose. We had a blue hose hooked up right here. You gotta take it out and you gotta put the hose back in properly. That's for the blue line. And then the hoses since this doesn't really have a trailer because it's a uh, cabin chassis. It goes into the hoses that are made for when they pull a trailer. Uh, they'll make a different kind of trailer. I think this is gonna be like a dump truck or something. So way back here, instead of up there, like the other ones I showed you earlier. And then here's the lights right here. Cause this will be a trailer back here. Eventually once they put the dump truck on there, you just pull all these out. You might want to also take a picture of them Sometimes you have to, they come loose, so you gotta figure out which prong to put them in. All right guys, you see, took everything off. Got all the hoses there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll those, those hoses up. So if you roll them up the right way, you can fit four hoses into that bag. Normally when I undeck a load, a four way, all at one place, I put all the hoses in there. So it's a total of six hoses and it'll fit in that bag. Other bag, I put the U-bolts, the trash, and the bolts. And anything else, all the wire and anything else, I police up the wood and whatnot. So please guys, try to make sure that y'all police the area. See how nice and clean my area looks? This is how it needs to be. So now all I have left is to take the axles off the frames, put them into the axle I guess holes. So for the axles, you're gonna need a drip pan. They don't have a drip pan, an axle drip pan on hand. Best thing to do is to get one of these that are empty. You get your knife. And you just cut all the way around here. I have now got my own homemade axle drip pan. Most of the places is how you do it. Put it right there. When you take all the bolts off, pull this off, the oil will come in there. And then you find a place where there is to dump it. Don't just dump it on the ground, don't put it in the dumpster. Dump it in the oil disposable, disposal area. All right guys, so this is how you take the axles off the frame. Come over here, the way I do it at least. I cut this side, cut this wire off. Then you come right here, cut this off. Make sure you put this in a disposal, the yellow bag as well. I started doing this. All I had was just a regular wrench. And I couldn't do this fast, so I do this. So 
once you get the axles off the frame, you want to set them on the side of the tires like this next to the side that you're going to be doing on. The way that you can tell which side it is, which side goes on which side, is the outside of the axle right here, the axle cover, uh, will be facing towards which side it needs to be done. So another friendly tip, I keep latex gloves with me. So when I do the axles, I don't get oil all over my hands. I just keep a stack of them with me. Bolts off. They have these on them, the little washers. Make sure you put them in the pile so you don't lose them. And they also, they give you some new O-rings. So make sure you have those with you so you don't have to run like I just did. So, here we go. The original O-ring is still there, so make sure you take it off and dispose of it in the yellow bags. You know, when you change a tire, one side, opposite side. One side, opposite side. Time to hook up the hooks. So you'll find a box like this in the cab or under the sleeper. Just cut it open. And you'll have all this stuff in here. Got the hooks and all that. I'm gonna take this, put it in that hole right there. Skinny side. We're gonna put it right in that little hole right there. There we go. Now the hook is secured. You can see it now. Both hooks are ready to go. So now we gotta hook up these straps to those hooks. All right, so now we have the straps on the hooks. Next, at this place, they actually have a crane. We're gonna hook that crane up to these straps. Now we got the straps hooked up to the hook. Normally we do the hoisting, but this is a crane so we can't operate it, so we have a man doing it. The hoist is tight, we gotta raise it up. We want to get a tight note where it loosens up and there's a small little gap right here. Alright, you see that? So what I like to do when I know I'm dropping off another one, I'm leaving the saddle on here, I'll put the hooks upside down and tighten them back. So now we're going to take it off and pull forward. Right, so we pulled forward a little bit. Make sure there's enough room in there so you can lower it down. Now we'll start lowering it down. Make sure you get all this wood out as well. And there we go. That's how you unduck one truck. Now it's time to remove the axle support chains. So normally what you'll do, put a block under there if it's really high chassis. But this is a low chassis, so it's not as bad. Or what I usually do sometimes is I'll pull these out so it drops the bags and loosens these up. Okay, as you can see right here, I'm taking off the saddle. The way you do that is you take the nuts off the hue bolts. Sometimes the hue bolts get stuck because of the washers. So you want to hammer it like I just did, either with a hammer or the actual hue bolt itself. Sometimes the hue bolt won't work, so you have to get a hammer. After you're done doing this, then you either have a forklift unload it, or you get up on the two tires and you flip it off the frame. Um, just be careful when you do that. You don't want to scratch up the frame. Um, sometimes you don't have anybody to help you, so you have to find a way to get it off. But just make sure you're safe when you do it. Alright, so right here we have a double saddle. And a lot of people struggle with this. The way I'm doing it is the easiest way, less strenuous way. So I got the straps around the actual uh, top saddle. I'm gonna loosen the bolts and then I'm gonna raise it up. This is a glider. So we got a forklift coming in right now with a glider stand. He's gonna put it underneath there. I'm gonna raise it up, set it down that. Okay, so there you go. Top saddle off. Hi guys, see how much easier this is. No more struggling. 
It'd be better if it was an electric hoist, but unfortunately it's manual, so it's taking forever. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I hope y'all learned from it. Obviously, you're going to learn more once you get with a trainer. This is just so that you can get an understanding of it before you get with the trainer. Now, when your trainer starts telling you what to do, you have an understanding about it. So, you're always going to be learning. I'm still learning now. I've uh, been doing this for three year, uh, two and a half years, and I'm still learning. Uh, there's different ways that they're decking the trucks, and there's different Z-wings, um, which I didn't get the opportunity to show you how to do that, but you'll learn that when you go on the road. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and welcome to the drive away family. Oh,